is the winner of the Barry Award for Best Show at the Melbourne International Comedy Festival and was a nominee for the Edinburgh Comedy Award. You can catch her this week at the Darwin Festival and Sydney's Yak Festival in November. Please welcome the hilarious Zoe Coombs Ma! Yeah. Yeah. Hey, what's up, cunts? <laughs> Cervixes is the answer to that question. <laughs> Cervixes, fair. Yeah, that's what's up there. Mm. Yeah, not always. Let's not be reductive or transphobic about it, but often that is what's up there. Yeah? <laughs> Ladies know what I'm talking about. <laughs> eh? This guy knows what I'm talking about. Eh? He knows that he doesn't want to know. Just a bit of crowd work. Uh, so, what, it's Tom, right? I'll see if I can work it into a callback for you later. I'm very good. So, uh, I am a lesbian. I know. What? Uh, shocking. Sorry, ladies. <laughs> it's a bit of a slow burn, that one. That's what she said. Doesn't make any sense. Uh, I am a lesbian. If you don't know too much about us, um, we are just like normal people. Only if you were to say to me, Hey, Zoe, what have you been up to? I might say, Oh, about here. <laughs> hey! uh, they did tell me not to do that one, so maybe we have to cut it out. But... Uh, <laughs> Do we have any straight people in tonight? Yeah? yeah? You're straight people. You're weird, aren't you? <laughs> You're weird. No, I love straight people. I'm joking. I love straight people. I love your culture. Uh, it's great. I, I've seen all your movies. Uh, I don't understand it all, all your funny kind of customs and things. But, uh, like, straight people, you seem to have normalised this idea somewhat. But to my people, the idea that sex and babies are in any way connected <laughs> is absurd. <laughs> Like, it's not even in the same universe. The idea that one leads to the other is like going, oh, fingered this girl, now we've got this Shetland pony. <laughs> this is weird. Or like, oh, suck this guy's dick, now we have this Pavlova. It's weird, straight people. Oh, you're fascinating. Oh, but I love watching straight people. I love observing you out in your natural habitat, the entire world. <laughs> You're so comfortable, it's weird. But uh, I love watching couples. I was watching a straight couple the other day, one of my favourite types of straight couples. I was in Surrey Hills, I know, fancy. And I was watching one of those, um, the active wear couples. Oh, they are the best. Like, she's tiny, he's massive. What happened? <laughs> like, did they have a great time at a carnival once and go, let's turn ourselves into a funhouse mirror? <laughs> But they were, they were amazing. Like, he was huge, this guy. He had all her protein. And <laughs> she was minuscule. She looked like she only just had enough energy to say, it's a cavoodle. <laughs> it's a cavoodle. Her name's Lululemon. <laughs> it's, it's so embarrassing because for ages we were saying Lululemon. <laughs> I was saying Lululemon. I was saying Lululemon for ages. Was there anyone else? I know I'm not alone. Yeah, you, Lululemon. Lululemon. Why would it be Lululemon? That's ridiculous. That's like thinking that Pie Face is actually called Pia Farce. <laughs> I do have a friend who says Piafache. <laughs> My friend Candice. Sorry, I mean Candice. <laughs> so, um, I, so I, was, I love watching these straight people. And so she was tiny. He was massive, this guy. It was like, he was enormous, like a proper bodybuilder. You know when they're all knotted and can't move your legs independently of each other? And he was all kind of brown and glazed, so he looked like a brioche. <laughs> How much do those guys look like a brioche? They look exactly like a brioche. Every time she she looks at him, she must be like, mmm, brioche. <laughs> and you know she can't eat carbs. Oh, it's cruel. Why are you doing it to yourself? But uh, I, should, I should point out, um, I should have said this before, I am allowed to make jokes about straight people because um, my parents are straight. <laughs> so I actually went on Ancestry.com and it turns out I come from a long line of straight people. <laughs> Amazing, all the way back. It's incredible. So I, you can't tell by looking at me, but I am mostly straight, <laughs> genetically, non-practicing. <laughs> but I know all about your funny foods you like to eat, and you know uh, I can do the accent. I won't though, because it's appropriation. So <laughs> actually, that voice from before, that voice, the it's a cavoodle, the straight girl voice. That's not okay, is it? That's not all right. It's fun. The best thing to say is. Emily, I don't want to slut shame you, but you're a slut and you should be ashamed. <laughs> what joy! I love that. It's incredible. Um, but no, it's not all right. Like, straight women, that's punching down, isn't it? That's punching down. No one has it harder than straight women. Oh, tension. Uh, but, uh, I, no 
one does. You've got straight women, you're incredible. You've got all the same problems as normal women. <laughs> Flipped it. But, <laughs> but with the dating men thing, and I don't know how you do it, nothing against you guys individually, but I, I can't even tell men apart. <laughs> I can't, honestly. I can't. I, I see you all looking at me like, yes, you can. Nah, fellas, all I see is a bunch of paper plates with smiley faces drawn on it. <laughs> No idea. I saw that movie Dunkirk. I had no idea what was going on. No idea. I um, face off didn't make sense at all. But uh, I, um, I, I am joking. I, I can tell you apart. You know, I, I love men. You know, some guys get very like, oh, it's a bit sexist about that bit. Like, oh, it's a bit sexist. It's not sexist to be clear. I don't hate men. I just hate one man. I can't tell which one he is! I'm constantly on edge. No, I can tell you apart. Some of my best dads are men. I can tell you apart. You're all individuals, I know. Right, Tom? Hey, there's your callback, mate! So, that's it. That's me. That's it done. <laughs>